Here's Ronnie Huffman, our service manager, to go over a 20-point checklist on your mower and tractor. Right now we're going to do a 20-point checklist, go through the machine with you. First thing on the list is you want to go around and check your hydraulic hoses for any damages or leaks. You want to check your air filters, check the one on the engine, and don't forget your air conditioner filters also. Next on the list is your engine fan belt. You want to check for any damages on the belt and make sure it has the proper tension on it. You also want to check all your oil levels, engine, hydraulic, and transmission, and gear boxes on your mower. Next you want to check your warning and safety decals, and you want to make sure that they're legible and not damaged. If you need them, please contact our parts department and get, and get them replaced right away. Next you want to check your drive shafts. You have a, a pump driven drive shaft in the front of the tractor, and you also, if you have a three point hitch, you have two drive shafts on the back of the tractor also. So you want to check and make sure that your bearings are okay on that, and don't forget to grease them. Next you want to check your mower decks and inspect them for any cracks. If you see a lot of cracks, you may have other problems. You may want to think about looking at other, other places like your bearings and stuff that may be doing a lot of vibrating that, that cause the cracks. Or if you have mower blades that are missing on your, on your flail mower, that could give you a lot of cracks also. On a rotary mower, you want to be inspecting your dish and make sure there aren't any cracks on your dish. You want to check your rotary blades, make sure there isn't any cracks on the blade itself. Your bolts, you want to make sure they have the proper torque according to your service manual. Next, you want to check your spindle for any kind of movement. If there's any movement in your spindle, adjustments need to be made. Next, you want to check your spindle bolts and make sure they have the proper torque. Your proper torque is 370 foot-pounds. Next is your dish bolts. You want to set them to a proper torque of 225 foot-pounds. Next, you want to check all your pins and bushings on the whole boom. Check your pins for wear and movement in case any of them need to be replaced. On a rotary mower, don't forget to grease your spindle and always remember to use Tiger grease. Next, you're going to want to go to your hydraulic tank and visually look at your gauge on there. It will tell you if your filter is clogged or not. Make sure that gauge is working properly. Next, you want to look at your mounting bolts on the frame of the tractor. Make sure none of them are coming loose. So you may want to go around and, and take a wrench and just, maybe just double check and make sure that they're all good and tight. Check your parking brake and make sure it's operating properly. Take a walk around your tractor. Inspect all your lights. Make sure your turn signals are working. Make sure your beacon lights are working properly and make sure your headlights are working for safety. On flail mowers, you want to remove the cover, inspect your belts, and also check the proper tension on the belt. Finally, you want to take a walk around your whole tractor and go through all your grease points and make sure all your grease fittings are working properly and they all take grease. This is our 20 point checklist. This is something that you can do or if you want, we can also come out and inspect your mower for you. If you require assistance locating your part numbers, please contact the Stevenson Equipment Parts team. Some key pieces of information for us in the parts department is the serial number and or the equipment number. The serial number to your machine may be found on the mower deck itself. If you purchased your machine through Stevenson Equipment, there will be an equipment number either on the mower deck or on the tractor. These are two key pieces of information in helping the parts department obtain the proper part numbers for you. On a few other items, Tiger Corporation does place the part number on the part itself. For instance, on the rotary blades, they stamp the part number into the blade. On their hoses, they have a decal that is heat shrunk to the hose. And on the cylinder, there's a decal with the part number. Stevenson Equipment stocks over $250,000 worth of Tiger mower parts. We are a one-stop shop, parts, sales, rental, maintenance, and service.